What's up, family? This is your host, Aaron, here. This is Times with the Narcissist Explain. I hope all has been well with each and every one of you all. Tonight, I just want to have a uh, topic discussion about, you know, life in general. And one of the terms that I've been paying attention to lately is the term we have free will, right? Now, I would say we have free will to a certain extent. Now, when you're growing up in life, especially as a chosen one, you will have many choices and many paths that you can go. But ultimately, the biggest path that I say that we can choose is either the path of righteousness and peace or the path of chaos, destruction, evil. And sometimes the choices that we make, we unconsciously, uh, unknowingly, not unconsciously, unknowingly choose these different paths, right? And so when we're talking about free will, we have choices that we can make. We can choose to do certain things with our lives if we actually sat down and actually wanted to do it, you know, that's why uh, on this channel, I'm not going to say that um, we're all limited as chosen ones. We're never limited. We're never held back. Um, it's just that in the midst of you working on whatever it is you're laser focused on, um, we don't get to control how it plays out. Because the truth be told, we have free will, but we're also co-creators of our reality. So therefore, you know, anybody who's in a situation that they don't like, you can free yourself from that situation. It depends on what it is that you want to do with your life. You have to make a choice. You have to decide what it is that you want to try. And I'm going to tell you, I'm a guy that has tried many different things and what doesn't work for me is nine to five jobs, right? That doesn't work for me. Um, it never works for me. I can't be around people like that because a lot of people are evil, you know, and uh, and they choose to be that way, right? But that's on their own free will. I choose to focus on myself on my own free will and, you know, do what is right and choose the path of righteousness and peace, you know, because... Uh, I'm going to say this again, because I think I said this before. In order for people to have peace, they have to be peace. Not saying you're not going to run into chaotic people, but even in the midst of chaos, as long as you remain in your peace and that you're not chaotic like them, unless you have to. Now, there's a thing called defending yourself. That doesn't mean you're chaotic. Right. But, you know, you can stay in your peace in a righteous peace by, you know, maintaining your peace and even avoiding conflict if need be, right? And so this is the power that we have. We have the power to decide, do we choose peace? Do we choose righteousness? Do we choose to be negative about our circumstances or do we choose to be positive about our circumstances? You know, Whatever it is that you're going through, it does not define you. If you're a chosen one and you've been working hard and life's been a little rough for you, understand that those circumstances does not define you. It doesn't make you less valuable. It doesn't make you be looked at by the most high like the most high hates you. When you're going through things and you're trying to get somewhere, it's going to, a lot of times it's going to be obstacles. It's going to be quite a journey. And, um, my life experience, I've experienced many obstacles, but I'm still here. I'm still pushing. And uh, eventually things will be taken to the next level. But until then, I stay uh, stay grounded, stay focused, stay positive and always know it doesn't matter what happens. I know I'm amazing. I know I'm valuable. I know that I'm a powerful individual and you are, too, because the truth be told, it's all in how you view yourself. I'm sorry if y'all hear um, like firecrackers in the background. I'm not sure why they popping them this time of night. But it's all in how you view yourself. You know, that's another level of understanding that I'm telling you all. 
It's all in how you view yourself, not how others view you. It's all in how you view yourself. You see, the thing about narcissists, they want, they pretend to be good people, but they really not. But you, you are the real deal. So you have to look at yourself like, shoot, I know I'm an amazing person. I know I'm a healer. I know I'm a powerful being. I know I'm heavily divinely connected and divinely protected by the most high. I know I'm a king. I know, you know, for the ladies, you know, y'all know y'all some queens. Look at how you carry yourself. Look at your heart. Look at your mindset. Look at the peace you bring when people come into your life. Right? These things you have to look at yourself for it and 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 always remind yourself of because you know life is full of challenges. Life life will life has curveballs, you know, and it's things that we cannot predict that will happen. And so we have to adjust and adapt, but always remember who we are, no matter what, you know, it doesn't matter if we don't have a couple million dollars in a bank account. It doesn't matter if we don't even own our own home. It doesn't matter if we don't drive the nicest car, you know, it's who you are. You are worthy of luxurious things. You are worthy to be a multimillionaire. You're worthy to be in leadership positions. You are worthy of that. And just because you don't have it now, doesn't mean you're not worthy. Some things take preparation, but always remember who you are. You know, it's all in how you view yourself. It's all in how you look at your circumstances. Your circumstances does not define you, you know. And a lot of times our circumstances have solutions. We just have to uh, be laser focused on that solution. But listen, y'all, I hope this has been helpful. And uh, we'll chop it up again another time. All right. See y'all later.